So we're getting ready for cheer competition day. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> so it is cheer weekend. Um, we have another competition, a cheerleading competition. I'm doing this ponytail over again because I didn't like the way it looked. It was too low on her head. And for cheerleading, they like it to be like super high, just like your jumps, right girl? Yes. All right, so we are getting right into the thick of things, okay? I think this is high enough, B. Yes. So Brooke, let's talk about cheerleading. Okay. How long have you been cheerleading? Uh, like next month will be five years. Yeah, so you started cheerleading when you were six? Yes. No, is Seven. it six? The strength that you need to have to flip a whole human being in the air and then also the strength you need to have of your own body, right? Control of your own body to be able to flip your own body in the air. Yeah. It's pretty cool. Because Brooke does um, what's called all-star cheerleading, mm -hmm. right? What's our cheerleading be? Um, so basically, you, there's like two different types of cheerleading. One with the pom-poms. Um, and then the all-star one is where like you actually do competitions and you don't use pom-poms and you don't say like, hey, something, something. Like you literally just, have a routine, you do it in front of judges. Cool. Yeah. Okay, can you go, so you got your makeup, can you go get your outfit on and then I'm just gonna detangle my hair. Okay. All right, so I have washed and moisturized my hair, but it's been a while and I am more than due for a um, retighten. So I am just combing out my locks. So I'm just using a wide tooth comb like this, pretty straightforward and simple. And I'm going from the end and literally going up from there. So this is something that you can do once your locks are, are, are actually locked. I don't recommend this if you have baby locks and they are still trying to um, lock. This can definitely cause your hair for sure to um, to loose out, okay? But it is, I feel like it's totally necessary to comb your locks. Like I know people don't, look there's a lot of people who don't do it, but for me, I find that my hair gets so tangled, like literally like I'll be just sitting there and there'll be like one huge one. You might've seen it in my last video, the one I did on COVID. Like there'll just be like random hairs like all over the place, right? And it doesn't matter whether your hair is long or short, sometimes the locks, they just have a mind of their own, right? So I find that with combing them, right? With the wide tooth comb, it just gets all the tangles out, right? We have to remember just because we have locks doesn't mean we don't have to take care of it like, like you do your, you know, typical like natural hair. Right? You totally have to take care of it, maintain it. And this is kind of part of my routine. And I love how it looks after because then it just looks like one uniform. All right, I think I've got all that out. But I'll just go to the back just to make sure. Sometimes I'll just flip my hair over as well and do the under part. Because a lot of times we forgot the under part especially as your hair starts growing, you kind of forget that that under part needs some TLC and love too, okay? So basically, I'm just combing all over. Okay, and again, start from the bottom until you, you know, feel like it's coming through the way you want and there's no stoppage. So there we are. Locks are all good. Combed, ready to go. 
we're going to do Brooke's makeup right now, and I'm going to give her some uh, lotion. So, you okay? Okay, so we're just using like the Pond's Dry Skin. I'm not sure if you can see it. Pond's Dry Skin Lotion. Um, I like this one just because it's pretty reasonable in terms of price. You get it from Walmart, wherever. I'll put it in the description in the link below, but I just like it because it's uh, really hydrating and works well for my skin. Does it smell good? You like it? Yeah, but anyway, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna do Miss B's face. And so um, we're gonna start off with her foundation. Where's your foundation, girl? And again, because she's a kid, like we don't go crazy um, on really anything. I'm just doing just an easy like dusting powder for her. So she and I have the same brushes. So she gone ahead and put like gold tape so that she knows what's hers and what's mine. We're just putting some setting powder so that it will stay. Just a little bit of bronzer to give her a little bit of pop. And some blush. Jeez. So Miss B has some like thick, beautiful eyebrows. So I don't do much with them. I literally just take a clean mascara brush. I have disposable ones and I just clean them up. I'll just clean them up a little bit. Okay. Then we are going to go to, then we're going to go to eyeshadow. So this eyeshadow is uh, called Revolution. And we chose this palette because there's a specific color teal that she needs to have in, like to wear on her eyes for cheerleading. And we lost it at the last competition, so I got her this instead. So this palette has a whole bunch of different colors, to be honest. This this color here, which is called Saturn, and the other one, which is called Fractal, those are the only two colors we've used from here as yet. So now I'm just gonna put a, a, like an easy eye, um, eye primer on her eyes, just to help the eyeshadow stay where it's supposed to. And then we're just gonna quickly just kind of blend it in. This is that fat fractal color. Okay. Just all over her eyelid. So again, when you see this makeup, this is not what I would choose for my own child, but it is mandatory with cheerleading. The nice thing about cheerleading though, in comparison to dance, is like they don't have to have multiple um, outfits. Like this is the outfit that she uses for three years, right? Like she has one outfit, three years. Obviously there's a good chance that she'll grow out of it, but we just basically then go exchange and go and uh, basically do it. Um, we get to sell the old uniform and then buy a new one, or sorry, a, a used one at the same price that we sold the old one. So we're never paying more than once in three years, really. So the next color we're using is this Saturn here, right, that teal color. Close your eyes. And so for this, we're gonna put it just on the base of the lid. I should have blown off the, um, the eyeshadow, because this one tends to fall all over, kind of down at the bottom of her her cheek there. So again, I don't love these colors. I wouldn't let her out on a dark night with these colors, but, but it is what it is, right? Like, it is what it is. Cool. So now what we're gonna do is I'm just gonna go back underneath her eyes. Close, close your eyes and let look up. Just with my uh, foundation brush, just to get some of that eyeshadow out of there. Okay. 
Okay. Um, do you want mascara? Mm, yes. So for her, I use um, Arbonne. Um, this is like a travel size mascara. But I think it's perfect for her. And then I just have her kind of go ahead and blink on the brush. She has super long lashes, so I don't have to go crazy. Just super light. Just to give her a little bit of zhuzh. Right? And then last but not least is the lipstick. That doesn't match. Oh. So the first thing I'm gonna do is have her just moisturize her lips. Burt's Bees lip oil. Okay. Go for it. Just gives her a little bit of moisture. I find that when she wears, especially these deep um, red colors for cheerleading, that she actually ends up, like her lips end up cracking and all that if you don't put that on beforehand. Then we are going to, and we're gonna line her lips. Um, this is just a liner from Arbonne. Um, the color is called Tulip. And we're just gonna line the outside of her lips. And last but not least is by far the worst lipstick stain, whatever you want to call it, that has ever marked this earth. It is called a rock star, was it? I think, so. I think it's called rock star. You get it from Shopping Drug Mart. This is actually sorry, you don't get it from Shopping Drug Mart. This is like a special order for cheerleading uh, because it literally stays on. Like, look, look at this. <laughs> it's like blood, right? Like it literally stays on on forever the problem like all even the next day okay the problem with this though is is that it's so drying go ahead and mix your lips in the problem is, is that it is so incredibly drying that it's actually uncomfortable to watch like brooke will tell me mommy my lips actually hurt they hurt when i wear this because of how dry it is so that's that. After I put that on, then I use a just a red cardinal lip gloss over top, just again, to just give her a little bit of moisture, but not have her miss out on the color. Okay? So there we have it. We are ready. We are ready. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for tuning in. If you have not hit that subscribe button, uh, make sure you do.